Greetings all. Welcome to uh, On Being Frank and uh, this is going to be an interesting uh, little uh, bunny trail. Last night we had the most amazing electrical storm here in Auburn, California. It was like non-stop light show. It was uh, the Foothills Auburn version of shock and awe. You know, lightning. Oops, see I'm, I'm already destroying my own cap. Lightning, thunder, get the kids in the house, the roof might uh, blow away uh, Dorothy Dorothy that sort of thing anyway I've got to go hang my uh, uh, paintings at the gallery this morning I wasn't able to do that yesterday because of scheduling events with the gallery so I got to go there today so I was just gonna run through some of the books that I have maybe to inspire some of you I'm, I'm, I'm glad I've inspired uh, uh, Matthew and us to go out and get the, the Stobart book this book is amazing if you could find it uh, and, and uh, I'll, I'll be reviewing this book uh, down the line. Uh, also, one of, one of my uh, the books of my uh, uh, a personal collection is the catalog for the William Bougereau retrospective that happened, I believe, about 1985, somewhere around there. You could find this book, this catalog. It is spectacular. Any, any illustrated book by N.C. Wyeth is worth the price. So uh, this is one of my prized possessions, the Robinson Crusoe book. And of course, uh, if you could find this book, the Maynard Dixon book, The Art and Life of Maynard Dixon. Just amazing. In fact, I, what do I have? Uh, oh, just some samples, samples of his uh, stuff. Okay, we're gonna go, I'm just gonna write down the line. Uh, of course, a classic, if you can find it, The Art of Andrew Wyeth. Did you know that uh, Delacroix also was, uh, did some illustration? He illustrated uh, Goethe's uh, Faust, and uh, I got this book just for the illustrations. Delacroix. Okay. Also a favorite in this area is uh, Arthur, uh, the art of Arthur Math, Arthur and Lucia Matthews. His stuff is amazing. He's a Monterey tonalist. It's a little kind of a pricey book, but and I think it's still out. But check out these illustrations. Sorry, paintings. Can you see that? Just absolutely beautiful. A lot of uh, current planar artists are ripping him off. I won't say who, but what's great about having a full knowledge of art history, you, you can you can you can tell the influences of certain artists. Arthur Matthews, big uh, Monterey, uh, Northern California influence. Also, uh, a, a phenom that is uh, painting successfully right now is Morgan Weisling. He, he did a book called The Image of Christ. Uh, these, some of these paintings are just uh, spectacular. Now, if I can just find, find some. Which ones am I going to show you? You know, he, you know, he does some very classic approaches. Very successful young man. Uh, a, a book that was interesting. I remember talking to Jim Gurney about this. He's got the book too. Uh, uh, kind of a forgotten time period. The book is called The Art of the Third Reich. Some really bizarre stuff, but you read it and and a lot of some of these artists were really good but a lot uh, because of the uh, stigma they uh, most of these people have been written off they definitely had a vision of what they were going to paint uh, you know you're some really bizarre stuff anyway fascinating reading a classic book for for all my illustrator friends that you have to have if you you know you want to uh, be challenged to reach levels uh, that are uh, uh, High levels, stratospheric levels. Okay, the uh, Tom Lovell book, amazing book. Book that uh, has caught the uh, atelier, uh, atelier world by storm by talking about it. Uh, Aristides' book, Classical Painting Atelier, good book. Any book on Van Dyck. For those of you who love Gladiator, you wanna see some of the drawings done by Ridley Scott and some production costumes, this is a good book, okay. Uh, one of my favorite uh, uh, painters of the 50s was Hayden Sunbloom. This is a book where it has a lot of his uh, Coca-Cola Santa Clauses. Great book. Any, any illustrated book by Sergio Martinez. My man, this guy can draw. This is who happens to be your special Max Lucado. Great book if you want to read to your children. 
But uh, look, look at look at look at the style. He is he is the man, and there's really not that much out there on him. I've, I've, I, he he actually paints on a type of a vellum. He works on both sides of the vellum. This guy is amazing, Sergio. You are the man. Look at that. Oh man, that guy's good. Uh, the Lord Leighton book. If you guys like that kind of Victorian stuff, I like this stuff. The Vic uh, Lord Leighton book. Uh, J. W. Waterhouse. You know, Lady of Shalott. Love this illustrator, Scott Gustafsson. You know, great if you have kids. This guy has just a wild imagination, and uh, anything he does, I love. He's got a couple other books out there, but uh, just a good uh, uh, classic imagination. Gustafsson, uh, a, a young man that I went to school with, Stephen Lyman. Uh, he's, he's already passed away, but if you can find this book, this book is, is, a, is a classic, Into the Wilderness, okay? Uh, just a sample of him, some of his stuff. You see that? Just beautiful. Okay. Uh, a guy that I discovered just going to a used bookstore, Stone Roberts. This, uh, let me show you some of his stuff. He does these beautiful, very tight um, florals. But they're, but they're, they're, they're beautifully, they're be hold, hold on, they're beautifully designed. And, uh, I mean, I've talked to people, and some people just don't know who he is. But uh, his uh, his approach is very it's very classic. Let me just oh yeah, look this this is representative of what, somewhat of what he's doing now in terms of the colors. See how see how that's how it's just beautifully laid out. Okay, anyway, that's one guy. You have to have this book, of course. You can see how mine's in in, in, in desperate shape, but the NCY book gotta have that book. Uh, guy with just a demented imagination, but man, can he draw? Uh, Brad Holland. Can I get that book? Any book by uh, Milo Monera, if you if you like uh, the, the uh, you know the French comic books, that sort of stuff. He's great. I love that guy. Uh, any book on uh, Hans Holbein, the man. You see that little thing at uh, that? Hold on, the skull. If you see it in perspective, at an angle, you'll, you'll see the skull. He's good. Any book on Magritte, love the, love his work. Uh, I saw the big retrospective show of uh, Thomas Hart Benton in uh, I think the LA County Museum way back when, probably in the 80s. Got the book of that show. Great book if you can find that book. Uh, saw the big retrospective of uh, Beardstadt at the De Young. If you can find the catalog, that's a great book. And uh, do I have? And uh, I mean, I've, I have so, so much stuff. This is just a sampling. Uh, Grant Woods, if you can find this book, this is great. Okay, hope, you're, hope you guys are going to uh, get inspired by some of these uh, uh, books. And uh, we'll be talking, okay? Bye-bye. Over and out.